So what does your kid need to know to pass the star test this year? What is the star test going to look like? I'm going to show you how to find out. Let's get into it. Mad Magisters! <laughs> Okay, so what a lot of parents may not know is that Star went through a complete redesign. So I don't want you thinking it's just pure multi-choice, you know, just A, B, C, F, D, H, G. Now students are going to be expected to construct responses. They're going to have drop-down menus. They're going to have fill in the blanks. They're going to have drag and drop options. The Star, since it's now conducted only online, is going to be much different than before. But you don't have to be blindsided by it. Now there there is a website where you can actually see a practice test so you can know like exactly what the test questions will be but there's also a really helpful video on there that'll go through all the new question types so let's get into it now I'm just gonna open my web browser as always I will link everything in the description and the pin comment below so if uh, you have trouble finding it or if you don't want to find it for yourself don't worry about it so we're gonna go to tea.texas.gov so we're gonna tea dot texas dot gov now if you just google tea this will probably be your first choice anyway now if you see here they're already touting the redesign if you just click on the star redesign right here it will give you a really helpful video going into the new expectations for your kiddo this year because it's going to be far beyond just multiple choice now, the thing that I think is one of the most powerful tools that parents should really utilize, educators utilize it all the time, and it's when you get to see the actual test questions, and they even give you an, uh, they provide you with an answer key, just in case you know you, you're, you weren't taught that way, or the test is a little more foreign to you than you expected. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to student assessment. Now, once you come over here, you can just click on it. Once you click on it, you over here on the side, you'll see all these options. You're just gonna go right to testing where it says student assessment. You're just gonna click on testing. And right here, you'll find so many resources, but one of the most powerful ones that you'll see here is release test questions. So if you come over here to the right and you click on release test questions, they have at the top uh, different years that the star test has been given that they will allow you to see and up at the top it'll say sample test questions you just click on the year that you want to see 2023 i'm going to go down to fifth grade and i kind of want to see what the fifth grade test will look like so you just click on it and you'll be able to see an entire practice test that's exactly modeled to the exact concepts and questions that your child is going to be answering on this year's tests now they will be different so you know you know don't think you can just go through and memorize this and your kid will be able to pass the flying colors but you will get a sense of the exact concepts and and relatively the same questioning that's going to be used in this year's test so it's an absolutely powerful tool in anyone's hands so i highly recommend that you take a look at this so i'm just going to press back really quick now once you go through those if if you want you can have your child practice them and when you want to check them i know parents are very busy you don't have to answer them yourself unless you want to you know test your your skills but right here they do have the answer key what i really love about the answer key is that it tells you the the item type that means how they're going to be questioned it gives you the teak alignment which means what concept really are they asking for in this question and then it's going to tell them how many points that would be worth already you see here that one of the new ones the hot spot it's worth two points as opposed to your traditional multi-choice which is only worth one if i go down to the next one that's worth two that's a hot text the next one that's worth two well, that's a hot spot. So if you see they're giving much more credit to questions in which students are expected to do much more than just pick one choice. So I think this would be a super valuable tool for all parents. Again, I will link it all in the pin comment and the description down below. I really hope this helps to give you an idea of what the star test is going to be like this year. And it's a, it would be an absolutely powerful tool in any parent or any student's hands. Good luck this year and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.